we uh, look at this city right we can see a hyperdensity area so you guys can see here this is hyperdense this is hyperdensity hyperdensity white and this is bleed now uh, as the, the the bleed will look hyperdense or uh, you can say white uh, so then the second thing is the location of the bleed so this this side is right side and this is left side so this bleed is present on the right side of the brain okay now the region or the area of which area of the brain i know this is right side now this bleed is present in capsuloganglionic region because this is ventricle and the area around this ventricle this area is called capsuloganglionic area this is called capsuloganglionic area so the one thing the bleed is in the right capsuloganglionic region but if you see this is the ventricle this is called lateral ventricle this is lateral ventricle the csf look black on ct scan this area this csf i can see this csf is black but this side i cannot see the black i can see the white so it's mean this right capsuloganglionic bleed with extension there is extension into the uh, ventricle so we can call the icb intracranial bleed with intraventricular extension here you guys can see this is the uh, icb this is this area this area is called capsuloganglionic area and this area around this, these all areas are called cortical cortical area so if the bleed is present in this area we will be called cortical bleed but this bleed is here so it around the ventricle lateral ventricle so we can call it capsuloganglionic bleed right capsuloganglionic bleed and there is intraventricular extension because i can see this horn of csf with black this means this csf is present but this side i can see the white so it's mean the intraventricular extension and the second thing this bleed push this side of the brain so there is midline shifting too so the three the three uh, things which we have to see on this city brain the uh, intracranial bleed with intraventricular extension and there is the uh, midline shifting or mass effect this patient was known hypertension when he was presented with headache committing from one day and uh, on arrival we did city brain and on city brain it was show the intracranial bleed with intraventricular extension intraventricular hemorrhage or extension whatever you can say so icb with uh, ive and the bleed was located at right capsuloganglionic with intraventricular extension so uh, in icb we find a score that is called uh, ICH score and for this patient the ICH score was 04 and the mortality is 97 97% we're going to see the uh, the topic ICB intracranial bleed so uh, for this patient uh, the ICH score was uh, 4 and the mortality for 4 score is 97 97% so this score show the mortality in intracranial bleed patient uh, if uh, first of all we will be looking for uh, GCS ICH, IVH, and AH. GCS, if the GCS 3 to 4, the score will be 2. If 5 to 12, the score will be 1. And 13 to 15, the score is 0. If the bleed uh, is the bleed is more than 30, more than equal to 30 ml, that will be score 1. If less than 30, that is score 0. If there is intraventricular hemorrhage or extension, if it present, this score is 1. For that, the score is 1. If no, the score is 0. If the age is more than equal 80 years, the score is 1. If less than 0. Uh, from GCS, uh, we take we talk for this patient the two, uh, and the bleed was more than uh, 30 ml, so one, and uh, there was intraventricular extension or hemorrhage one. So the total score for this patient became uh, four, and the mortality for the four score is 97%. Thank you.